Hi everyone, today we are going to be looking at all of the vitamin C products that The Ordinary have to offer. Which ones are my favourite, which ones I'm not that keen on, which ones are great for beginners and which ones are great for experienced users. Whether you're wanting a powder, whether you're wanting a lotion, a serum, a cream, The Ordinary has a product that will be right for you. So if you are a complete beginner and really want to know where to start, or if you're an experienced vitamin C user that's currently using a vitamin C product that's really quite expensive and you're wanting a more affordable alternative, this is definitely the video to watch. So if you're new here, hi, my name's Gemma. I upload new content on YouTube every single week and I have the best subscribers in the world. So at some point in this video, if you're finding it helpful, why not consider joining them by clicking the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell. So let's just talk about the benefits of using vitamin C before we jump into product selection. So all vitamin C's will really help brighten your skin. Really getting rid of that dull skin that can often happen over time, especially as we age and our skin turnover starts to slow down dramatically. So it will really help to brighten that complexion, giving you that youthful skin glow. But it also has a lot of other benefits as well. Hydration being one of them. Vitamin C is a great skin hydrator. It will also help to reduce pigmentation on the skin, really evening out the skin tone, and it also helps promote collagen production, slowing down those signs of aging, often reversing some signs of aging, reducing those fine lines and wrinkles, reducing any sort of texture that you have on the skin, really smoothing out your skin, giving you a more youthful complexion. In some cases, some vitamin C products can also help reduce redness on the skin. Now that is not the same for all vitamin C products because not all vitamin C products are created equal. Some vitamin C products will have a couple of the benefits that I've just listed, whereas some vitamin C products will have them all. When we're talking about product selection, we also need to bear in mind whether the vitamin C ingredient within the formula is direct or indirect because that will make a big difference to how it reacts with your skin, how it feels on your skin and how quickly you will see the results. When I say direct and indirect, what I mean by that is a direct form of vitamin C is a vitamin C in its most active form. These are the most effective vitamin Cs. They don't have to change when they hit the skin. They are active immediately. These are the most effective. They also can be the most aggressive and I would only recommend these and actually The Ordinary only recommends these forms of vitamin C's for experienced users. An indirect form of vitamin C is a vitamin C in its inactive form. It actually becomes active once it's been absorbed into the skin. So it does take a little bit longer to do the job, but you can get some great results with inactive forms of vitamin C. They're also slightly more stable formulas, so they tend to last a little bit longer. And because of this penetration and because it becomes comes active over time, so takes a little bit longer, inactive forms of vitamin C tend to be more gentle on the skin. They are far less harsh on the skin and so can be used by beginners as well as those that are experienced with vitamin C. So The Ordinary have seven different vitamin C products to choose from, not including the magnesium ascorbyl phosphate 10%. I don't know why that product has been left off the vitamin C list from The Ordinary, whether they are discontinuing that product, I have zero information, but for the purpose of this video, we are leaving that product out and focusing on the other seven. So I need to get this out before we move on. Please do not jump into the highest strength of vitamin C before you've worked your way up through the strength because your skin will not thank you for it. Not everybody is going to be able to tolerate the highest strength of vitamin C. Some people will be able to jump up there, no problems, but I definitely don't recommend it. Sometimes slow and steady wins the race. I know I will never be able to tolerate a really high strength vitamin C because my skin does not react kindly to high strength vitamin C solutions and I don't think it ever will. And that is absolutely fine. I would prefer to get the results slowly than get all the irritation and nastiness that using a high strength vitamin C would give me because that is just defeating the object for me. So you do need to build up tolerance and it's okay if you never get to the strongest strength, you will still be getting the results 
using a lower strength and using that indirect form of vitamin C that we spoke about earlier on. So like we said earlier on in the video, all vitamin C's will help to brighten your skin to get rid of that dull skin and give you a really youthful glow. But depending on what your secondary concern is depends on which vitamin C you opt for. So we're gonna split this video into three. We're gonna look at secondary concerns for hydration, secondary concerns for reducing pigmentation and secondary concerns for those anti-aging benefits it's those reducing those fine lines and wrinkles and really plumping up the skin. So let's look at a vitamin C that will brighten the skin but is also a serious hydrator as well. This is the Ascorbyl Tetrisopalmitate Solution 20% plus vitamin F. It's an oil-based solution that's going to be most suitable for anybody with a dry or a really dry skin. One drop goes a really long way. This is a thin oily solution but it is not not a heavy oil, this is completely weightless, it sinks in beautifully and it makes dry skin look instantly soothed and healthier. It supports the skin's moisture barrier, it's hydrating, brightening and it adds great antioxidant support. Although this is a lovely vitamin C product and great at what it does, if you're wanting those anti-aging benefits of really softening off those fine lines and wrinkles, promoting collagen production and smoothing out skin texture, this one probably isn't going to be for you. It's lovely though. Next vitamin C product, if you're wanting to brighten your skin but your secondary concern is pigmentation marks, if you're really wanting to reduce pigmentation and even out your skin tone, this one's probably gonna be for you. This is the ascorbic acid 8% plus alpha arbutin 2% and it's a direct form of vitamin C so you are more likely to see the results slightly quicker than if you are using an indirect form of vitamin C. This is an oil-like serum and this is the only direct form of vitamin C on the Ordinary's website that's marketed at both new users of vitamin C and experienced users of vitamin C. This is a slightly heavier oil-like consistency than the Ascorbyl Tetrisopalmitate solution but it's still still sinks into the skin really nicely. It takes slightly longer but it does still sink in. A little does go a long way and this is going to target pigmentation, target that dull looking skin and again it is a great antioxidant. Once again there are very few anti-aging benefits with this particular vitamin C solution but it is extremely good at reducing pigmentation marks which I think is really anti-aging in itself. It's just not softening off those fine lines and wrinkles. I think this is an amazing formula. This is not only great for the face, but it's also great for the backs of the hands and also the rest of the body as well. So if you really are wanting a vitamin C product with those anti-aging benefits to soften off your fine lines and wrinkles, to smooth out any skin texture, to plump up the skin, to promote collagen production, to even your skin tone, as well as brightening the skin and giving it that glow, then The Ordinary have four products that may be right for you. The first one is suitable for new users. It's an indirect form of vitamin C. It's really gentle on the skin. It's non-irritating, but don't expect miracles with this one because it is quite a mild formula. This is the Ascorbyl Glucoside 12% solution. It's a water-based gel-like serum which sinks into the skin beautifully. It's suitable for all skin types, including sensitive skin. It will target uneven skin tone, but not deep set pigmentation. Again, don't don't expect miracles with this one. It is a great antioxidant though and it will target some signs of aging. The next vitamin C I want to talk about is my personal favourite. Now this is for those that are either semi-beginners and when I say that I mean they've already used a vitamin C before but quite a low strength and want to move up slightly or experienced users of vitamin C. I love this one. It is perfection on my dry skin. Now if you are a regular to my channel you will know that my skin does not like vitamin C very much so I can't use this every single day of the week but my skin can tolerate this one which is why it's my favourite. It also makes my skin look beautiful. This is the ethylated ascorbic acid 15% solution. It's an indirect vitamin C formula and it's got an oil-like serum texture. This is great for anybody with dry skin. It's beautiful on mine and I can use it either in the mornings or in the evenings. Although this is really quite a potent formula at 15%, this is actually the weakest formula that The Ordinary do that they target at experienced users. Having 
said that this will target uneven skin tone, those signs of aging, and it is an amazing antioxidant. So we've done the serums and the oils, let's move on to the creams, the lotions, and the powders that will give you those anti-aging benefits, the evening those skin tone benefits, and also those brightening benefits as well. Now the Ordinary target this next product at experienced users, but if you've bought this and you can't handle the strength of it, you don't need to worry too much. This is quite an adaptable formula. It mixes very well with other moisturizers. So if you really do want to use it up, but you're struggling with your skin because your skin just can't tolerate the strength, mix in a few drops of your moisturizer to weaken it off a little bit and use it that way. I find that's a really good way of using up the product without damaging your skin in the process. So this one is the Vitamin C Suspension 23% plus Hyaluronic Acid Spheres 2%. This is a direct form of Vitamin C and it's in lotion form. It does have a slightly gritty texture. In my opinion, this is my least favourite. I just do not like the feel of this at all on my skin. It's a really potent formula. Like I said earlier, you can add moisturiser to this if you want to water it down slightly. This can cause tingling on the skin skin until your skin has built up tolerance to the level of vitamin C. A tingling sensation is perfectly normal to experience with this product, but if you get any stinging whatsoever, stinging or burning, I would recommend that you stop using this altogether. A lot of people think that if a product stings or burns, it means that it's working. It does not mean that. It really doesn't. It probably means that the product is either too strong for you or your skin barrier is impaired and you need to repair that before you continue you use. So please don't put up with any stinging or burning, but tingling is a normal sensation. This will target uneven skin tone, it promotes collagen production, it reduces the signs of aging, it's also a great antioxidant. It's pretty much an all-rounder and it's a very potent formula. I wish I liked it more, I really do. Some people absolutely love this, my skin just cannot tolerate it and I just don't like the gritty texture. Mm. The next vitamin C is once again targeted at experienced users. This is the vitamin C suspension 30% in silicone and in my opinion this is the hardest one to incorporate into an everyday skincare routine but I believe this is the best one if you can't tolerate a retinoid so if you're not using a retinoid on a daily basis in the evening this is probably the one that I would point you towards. So this is a smooth water-free cream formula that feels lovely on the skin. It's incredibly smoothing because of those silicones, but because of those silicones, I would only recommend that you apply this in the evening because this does not layer well with all of your other skincare. So if you're wanting to apply SPF after this in a morning, which you definitely should, your SPF will probably sit on the surface of the skin rather than sinking in because of those silicones silicones acting as a barrier. Now by all means you can use this in the morning, it's not just for night only, but I would recommend using this at night. This is a light, not heavy silicone texture, it doesn't feel suffocating on the skin and I much prefer this formula to the vitamin C suspension 23% but I completely understand that I am in the minority here. Once again a little goes a long way, this does target uneven skin tone, signs of aging, it's a great antioxidant, it's a direct form of vitamin C and because of the high strength of this at 30% your skin may tingle a little bit once this has been applied. Tingling once again is completely normal. Any burning or stinging remove it straight away and stop use. And finally, the last vitamin C product that The Ordinary has to offer, they market at extremely experienced vitamin C users and those vitamin C users that are incredibly confident when applying their vitamin C. That is not me. I personally really don't like this product. I don't like the fact that it's available. I think the inconsistency of application of this product hinders the skin more than it benefits. Anyway, that's my two penneth. Let's talk about the product. So this is the 100% L-ascorbic acid powder. It's a direct vitamin C. Please, whatever you do, do not buy this if you are new to vitamin C or you have sensitive skin because this is really difficult to regulate the quantity that you're applying to your skin and therefore the consistency of the formula and you may end up in a bit of a mess. You need to mix this in with your moisturizer or your serum to create your own formula. One little spoon, and I think it's a quarter of a spoon, is enough 
for the entire face. So that is why it is so difficult to regulate. Now, depending on what moisturizer or serum you choose depends on how well this sinks into the skin and how long it takes. But funnily enough, weirdly, it doesn't have a gritty texture. This is really, really powdery rather than gritty. So you can pretty much mix this with any serum or moisturizer that you like. However, this is not suitable for mixing with any niacinamide, regardless of whether it's the Ordinary's niacinamide or a niacinamide from any other brand, or EUK134 from The Ordinary, because those two products will mess around with the integrity of the vitamin C. So definitely do not mix it with either niacinamide or EUK134. If you do use either of those products, all you need to do is separate your routine. So use the vitamin C in the evening and the niacinamide and the EUK134 in the morning or vice versa. So as with any new product, if you're new to vitamin C in general, or you're new to any of the products from The Ordinary, a patch test is always a really good idea, at least 48 hours before you use the product on the sensitive skin on your face. A patch test is great behind the ear or in the crook of the elbow. And if you get any irritation or soreness, don't use it on your face. Also, very, very important to use a high quality SPF on any of the areas that you're using your vitamin if you're not using an SPF of at least 30 on a daily basis in the correct quantity, you may as well not bother with any of these products. You are just flushing your money down the drain. So that's it for this video. I really hope you found it helpful. Do let everybody know what your favorite vitamin C products from The Ordinary are in the comment section. We're all eager to hear your thoughts and experiences. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.